What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Hustlers Kung Fu. Today we're going to talk about another recession proof business and this is a game changer. This is a big one. We're going to talk about resale, something that I know quite a bit about and I can share with you some of my experiences with the resale business. This episode of Hustlers Kung Fu was brought to you by HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com where the courses have been repriced to help you out so you can start to skill up and develop the skill sets you need to make money on the side or in time replace your current job. One of the things that I wanna talk about with resale is this is how I actually got started. Here's the story. I was selling commercial office furniture, right? And I had a client that said, if you would buy, if you would sell our used furniture for us, we'll buy new furniture from you. And I took them up on their deal and I incorporated my company and I started selling used office furniture and I made a lot of money. I left that, then I went to back to my own company of selling new office furniture. And once I started to look at the profit margins, the profit margins on the used furniture were like, extraordinarily high and I was like I need some more used stuff so this got me into the storage auction business and if you don't know what that is this is where you go to these public storage facilities they raise the door and they bid off the contents of the stuff is what it is it's, a, it's an eviction they're evicting the tenants contents out of the unit to reclaim the unit to rent to someone else I spent almost 10 years in that business and it was a lot of fun it was very interesting and you learn so much. Now, during the last recession, I was in that business. My business actually improved. It went up during the recession. So this is why I know it's a recession-proof business. Right now, it's a little dicey because until we are able to leave our homes and go about freely and do stuff, resell unless you have a lot of stock is gonna be difficult because you gotta go out and find stuff to sell and put into certain depositories but I'm gonna give you some tips on how to be a profitable high dollar reseller. And the first tip is you need to specialize. This is where many resellers go wrong. They try to sell any and everything. It doesn't work like that. You need to specialize. What we had was several eBay IDs. And on one ID, we sold nothing but clothes. On another ID, we sold nothing but antiques. On another ID, we sold um, things that we could not sell in the store. You want to have to segment because this shotgun method of going to garage sales, buying any and everything, putting it up on eBay and Amazon, you will make some money, but you're going to make more money by specializing and picking a certain thing you want to sell. Like I give you a tip. Since I started doing YouTube and I started buying Mac computers, I knew a lot about Mac computers. And this is something I did while I was still you know, doing the YouTube thing. I would buy Mac computers off of Craigslist for a little price and go and put them back on a Craigslist and flip them and make two to five hundred dollars more. But you know, these are you know, Mac computers are expensive. And I remember I paid two thousand dollars for this tricked out laptop, and it took me about almost four months to sell it for thirty five hundred. So I made a fifteen thousand dollar profit, but I was able to do that because you know, I was buying and flipping other things and I kept relisting it and relisting it, and I found the buyer. But you want to specialize. You don't want to be an any and everything reseller. And this whole notion of a little bit daunting for people right now, but you need some money. Because when I got in the resale game, I did not get in the resale game broke. I had money in the bank and I was able to spend money and buy a lot of units. So you're going to need a war chest of about $5,000. Uh, once again, we're not talking about being a regular reseller. We're talking about being a reseller that's within two to three months, you're making the same money for reselling that you made on your job or even more. Tips I'm gonna give you are gonna set you apart from other resellers because I know the reseller niche is very huge here on YouTube now. I was one of the founding godfathers of the reseller niche. On this channel, go back to the beginning, you will find a ton of resale videos for reference. Resale can be very good, but once again, you need to specialize. Because I'm gonna give you the categories. Like we had an ID for antiques, we had an ID for clothing. Clothing does very well on eBay, extremely well. But people who buy clothing, because the thing is you're gonna have to take pictures of it, you're gonna have to measure it, and it can be a pain in the butt 
but you can make a lot of money off clothing. And I'm gonna give you a category of clothing that makes a lot of money. Big girl clothing. If you can find fly clothing for big chicks, you can sell it. I remember, and I'll never forget this, I bought this storage unit for like 10 bucks, and it had Tommy Hilfinger super long female sweater, and it was triple X. And I sold that on eBay for $95, and the girl got it, was so happy, because it's hard for big women to find fly stuff. So if you can find some fly stuff, and resell it, it's gonna move quick and you're gonna get top dollar. Also, another big thing that is, and also I know I used to be a watch guy before I got this. Really watches can move very well on eBay. Uh, there's certain demographic, I don't care what the economy's doing, they're gonna buy their high end expensive watches. And the few watches, cause I didn't get that many, but I got a few Rolexes, I got a few uh, Britlings, I got a few Omegas out of storage units and I was able to flip them because I had another eBay ID where I would flip watches. And the thing is with eBay IDs and flipping watches, you're gonna have to have a track record and it's gonna take some time to build that because you know people are gonna be a little leery sending you two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars for a watch and you don't have any history. Specialize, get to know your category very well and this will help you on the buying side because you know your category, you know what stuff is selling for, it, you know what you need to pay for it and that and that difference is your profit. Uh, there, there's so many ways to get inventory. Essentially, one of the things I used to do when you couldn't get stuff at storage auctions is I would look for pre-advertisement of garage sales. Because I would go, I would call up these people, I would email them and say, look, what do you have? May I come look at it early? If you have enough good stuff, I'll buy everything. And this is where you need to have some money. Because I remember going to this lady's house, she had some stuff for, a garage sale and it was okay stuff and I was like do you have anything else that you want to get rid of because see your goal is to get inside the house because garage sales for the average people unless you're a trained professional they're just a big hassle you got to drag all this stuff out you got to price it you got to deal with it you know most of it's not going to sell you got to drag it back in so a lot of people are reluctant to put everything that they have for sale out there so when I I remember this lady because she had all the stuff in the garage already and I asked her did she have anything else and you, you, ha you, you gotta develop the conversation. You gotta figure out why they're selling it, what kind of angle you can come in, because she's like, well, my mother passed. I'm like, I'm very sorry to hear that. And this was her house, and we're gonna sell the house, and we need to get it emptied and cleaned out. And I said, okay. And she said, there's a bunch of stuff in the basement. Dun, 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 dun. I went in that basement. There was Duncan Fife table. There was all types of antique furniture. And I said, I'll take everything in the garage and everything in the basement. What price do you want? And she was like, I don't know. Because you always ask them what price they want. Don't make some lowball offer. Because once again, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you what happened with this sale. And she said, let me call my husband. She called her husband. It's like, there's a guy here and he's willing to buy everything in the garage sale and take everything in the basement. And then her husband was like, 1500? She said, that sounds good. You, you give me 1500 for everything? I went in my pocket so fast and started counting out $100 bills. Then the next day I had my guys go pick up everything and I paid $1,500. The stuff in the garage for, you know, we were able to do that in eBay and stuff. I really didn't care about that because the money was in the basement. The money was, oh my God. The Duncan Fife table set, it was in great condition. I sold that for $2,500. She had a sideboard in there, I sold for $3,500. I made literally $25,000 off the stuff in the basement. And that is the power of resale, and that's the power of knowing your niche. Because to her, it was just some old furniture. To me, this was high value antique furniture. It was name brand stuff, it was Duncan Fife, it was Baker. I was like, whoa, I was just literally blown away. So the resale game, and this is why you need to have some money because you know a lot of people i know on youtube a lot of people like to hear these stories like hey you know how to flip five dollars to five hundred dollars uh, once again if you want to get into into the big boy league of resale and i got another story i'm going to tell you because resale can literally change your life if you're properly capitalized uh there was this guy named richard strickland i met him and he was a reseller of office furniture at the time i had a job he's like if you ever have any leads just throw me a lease i'll throw you a finder's fee right and I, I threw him some leads 
and Richard would literally go to an office building, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 stories, and take all the office furniture out. And there was a cost to pulling that furniture out. And I remember one day I got this check in the mail for $6,000 from Richard Strickland. This is the power of resale, because if he was gonna give me $6,000, that means he made a whole bunch of money off that deal. You, you need to be capitalized, you need to pick a segment, you need to know your segment, and you need to live within your segment because uh, one of the things I see that so many resellers here on YouTube are doing wrong is they're trying to resell any and everything. And that can make you some money, but you're not gonna get to the big boy dollars. You're not gonna get to the 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month range doing that. You're gonna have to be very focused. You're gonna have to be very precision and you're gonna have to know your marketplace and know your audience and know the people who buy the stuff from you. Another thing, that you can make a lot of money reselling guns. Even in this environment, because and I was having a conversation with this yard butter on another channel, and people don't know the power because there are some guns that sell for more used than they did new because they don't make them anymore. And this once again comes back to you having knowledge of your niche, knowledge of what you're selling because there's many guns out there that you can sell for 1,500, 2,000, 3,000. Uh, matter of fact, all right, there's this gun I found in the storage unit, and it's called a Colt Python. It's a 357 revolver. They're currently selling, because the unit cost me like 400 bucks, and I sold the gun for 2,000. They're selling for 2,500, 2,400, 3,200, 3,300, 19, 1977 because I, I think they stopped making it. This is a gun that sells for way more used than it ever did new. They're selling for 1,400 new. No, this is once again, this is about having knowledge of the product that you're selling and the audience, the marketplace that you're selling your product in because there is so much money out there in resale because here's why resale works so well. When you're buying something from someone, and this is one of my rules, I always ask people, what do they want me to pay them? I was like, what is your price? And if their prices works within my parameters where I know I can make profit, I instantly pay it. Do not be one of these cheap people where you're getting something super good and like, but you take $5 and they're asking $10 for it. And they're asking $10 for an item that you can make 500 bucks and you're, you're gonna push them to make that extra $5. That's just pathologically cheap and that's ridiculous. When you pay people what they want to be paid, they're very cooperative because when my guy showed up, the lady had brought some more stuff from her house and she said, y'all can just have that too. She was just happy to get to 1500 because her goal was to sell that house to make that big, large money. She didn't really care about the stuff that was in the house. She didn't care about the furnishings. Resell can make a gang of money, once again, if you are knowledgeable, well-capitalized, and know your marketplace. And this is a recession-proof business. Once we get past this pandemic stuff, because people are gonna be looking for, to get items, nice items for less. And this is one of the things, because I saw my storage auction business increase dramatically in 2008. And they're, they're, this resale is, the, is a proper ticket. And if you need help, go ahead. I've got a few courses for you to help you. And also go to the front of the channel. Go, seriously, go to the YouTube channel and go to video section and toggle it to the oldest videos and just watch the first five years of this channel and there's nothing but resale information stories and things because you can make so much money it, it's just ridiculous but once again you need to know what you're doing so that's all i have for you guys and you should be watching this recession proof business playlist which should be right here somewhere